this year the, the, the Charles Hatchett Award was given to research related to the use of niobium oxides in uh, energy storage materials. And, and, and this gave us the opportunity to organize a seminar and a discussion uh, on uh, how relevant uh, have been the breakthroughs on niobium uh, in, in battery materials for the future of uh, car electrification and energy storage systems, electronics and so on. The events brought together um, scientists and um, industrialists in a, from a huge um, range of different backgrounds, from uh, fundamental science, um, physics, chemistry, engineering, through to technology and um, applications of materials in areas such as automotive and uh, transportation. And this gave us the opportunity to organize a seminar and a discussion uh, on uh, how relevant the breakthroughs on niobium uh, in, in battery materials. So it's really been a showcase for emerging applications in battery technologies and its relevance to um, society as a whole really. So the presentation will be about the lithium-ion battery market and try to make some forecasts for each applications. For sure, e-mobility, electric vehicle, e-buses, and try to see the impacts of this e-mobility on the lithium-ion battery market. What I'm talking about today is, is, is looking really at the impact of the Charles Hatchett Award, uh, the papers have had on the development of uh, niobium-containing materials. So my presentation is concerning the uh, anode material using niobium. Its material name is a niobium titanium oxide. It's very interesting material because the volumetric capacity is twice as uh, much as the conventional graphite materials. Uh, just to go in a bit more detail about the material I'm going to speak about today, it's a disordered rock salt, lithium excess uh, cathode material. This is a material that could potentially displace some of the very popular NMC materials. It's a cobalt-free material that offers 40 to 60 percent higher energy than NMC. It has a tremendous dollars per kilowatt hour value proposition. It's a promising class of materials that we look forward to helping CBMM uh, develop them further. So today I'm going to talk about electric cars and uh, batteries for electric vehicles in general. I'm going to give a, little, a brief overview of the uh, battery pack architecture and then talk a little bit about the chemistry of batteries today in electric cars. So through the presentations we had analytical companies or analysts showing uh, information on the market of batteries. We had presentations on specific technologies and industries uh, which are producing actually battery and a big discussion on what would be the future of electrification in automotive sector and the future of batteries. And I feel very happy to see that niobium has a hold on this. There is a very good possibility to use niobium in the cathodes and anodes for different, different kinds of batteries with very good uh, advantages. So we're very uh, excited about the discussion and, and, and the conclusions that we all agree there is a huge potential for the application of niobium in batteries. So it's a new avenue, it's a new uh, opportunity. Um, winning this award, I cannot be more excited. Now, when I was doing this research two years ago, I, I, could not, I could never imagine that I can ever win the award named by such a great chemist. Mustafa and myself 
uh, are the faculty members and provide um, guidance to the uh, experiment and the computation. Oh, this is, of course, wonderful. This is a very well-known uh, prize to be honored to be part of this uh, that these young people have done. I would say that at this moment, I can feel my previous efforts really paid off. And this is a, a great honor to um, uh, the work we have done in development of uh, unique materials. As we see today, there are many different countries and many different institutes that have the award for these 40 years that show that there are much more uh, development in Niobe that we can imagine. So that's really good. I know that this award is, is, is going to be a big milestone for, for my career and it will definitely encourage me to explore more exciting fields in chemistry and material science.